Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you my updated everyday go-to makeup look since it's been a while. And before we start on the makeup, today's video is kindly sponsored by Majuri, which is really exciting. They are currently having their biggest and only sale of the year. The public sale started today and it's going on until November 28th in store and online and you can get 20% off with a minimum spend. So I wanted to show you quickly the pieces I'm wearing today. I went for kind of a holiday vibe, so lots of sparkles. So starting on my ears, I have my bold huggy hoops in my second holes and in the first hole I have my Pave Diamond bold hoops. They're so cute and sparkly. And here's what I have going on on my hands today. So on my middle finger on this side, I'm wearing one of the heirloom rings which I adore. They're my favorite rings from Majuri. I collect them like infinity stones. <laughs> and then on my ring finger, I have two Slim Singhas stacked. So the first one on top is the Pave Diamond Slim Singha, and then the Slim Singha ring on the bottom. And on this middle finger, I decided to upgrade my croissant ring to the Pave version, which is so beautiful and so sparkly and perfect for the holidays. Makes me so happy. It was my first ring from Majuri and now I'm happy to have like the more fancy version. I think it's so stunning. Pardon me, right here I was itchy, okay? <laughs> I'm wearing this beautiful little Pave diamond circle charm pendant on my baby curb chain necklace which is so sparkly and so cute. It's been my everyday necklace as of late. So in the description, I'm going to have links to all of the pieces I'm wearing today, as well as my landing page, which has all of the pieces I own from Ajuri, just in case if you've been eyeing up something that I wear often in my videos, please check that out. I'll also include any additional information that you need to know down there. But if you've been eyeing up something, it's the perfect time to do so. You'll get 20% off. That's awesome. So another huge thank you to Majuri for sponsoring this portion of today's video. But now let's get into the makeup look. So starting off, this is going to come to no surprise. I bet a lot of these products aren't, which is probably good for an everyday makeup look. <laughs> so I'm starting off with my Iconic London Underglow Blurring Primer. And I'm going to spread that out everywhere. This just softens everything out and illuminates it. Now I'm going in with my Iconic London Super Smoother Blurring Skin Tint. I'm using the shade Warm Fair. And I like to just squirt a little bit out onto a palette. And I use a brush to apply just because it's my preferred way. I'm not a finger application person when it comes to base products. I just feel like I can't be as precise and I don't like it on my hands. <laughs> grosses me out for some reason. So I'm going to use this NARS brush. This is actually one of their bronzer brushes. It doesn't have a name on the handle, but it came out with their cream bronzers. Now that I've had a chance to really wear this product for a long time, it's pretty comparable to the Fenty Beauty East Drops in a lot of ways. It's very blurring and softening and it wears incredibly, but I find that I reach for this one more just because I find that it wears thinner on my face and I feel as though it's more blurring on my skin, but I still adore the Fenty Beauty one as well. They both have place in my heart. To conceal, I'm using my LYS Triple Fix in the shade LN3. This has just quickly become my favorite concealer. It's the one I think about every day and I reach for all the time. It's so brightening. It has amazing coverage for such a thin consistency. It's very powerful. And I'm just going to blend that out with my dampened sponge here. I remember not being sold by this concealer in the beginning, but oh boy, I had no idea how in love I would be with this. It's so nice. It's just really hassle-free and it pairs really well with the Iconic London base especially for being like a full coverage concealer. And before that has a chance to settle, I like to take some powder. I've been really into the Cherry Blossom Powder from Huda Beauty. So I take some in the cap. I will say the net in here kind of pisses me off, so I always tap a lot of it into the cap. And I take a dry sponge. And just because my under eyes have been creasing a little extra, I kind of lightly bake right here where I have these lines. And I deposit the most right where the lines are right here. But then I try to blend the edges just so that I don't have a harsh set line because that can sometimes happen. So I just tap at the edges so there's no... And I don't really let this sit for that long. After I'm done applying, I pretty much wipe it off just with any 
fluffy brush. Usually the one that's closest to me. <laughs> the base is done, so now let's add the fun things. So I'm first going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in the shade Amber. I've been really getting into this formula again, especially because I'm paler. I feel like I don't need as much, as much pigmentation like the matchsticks offer. I like this one because it's a bit sheerer, a bit glowier, and I feel like it overall suits the vibe of the coverage level and things like that. So I just take a little bit on this smaller brush and I just pat it on like so. And then I start doing the circular motions back towards my ear because I don't want to bring it in too close to the center of my face. I just want this in this general area. And with whatever's left, I've just been putting it under my nose like so, just to add even more shadow there. I don't know, for fun. And I'm sure you guys saw this next product coming, but the Makeup by Mario Transforming Skin Enhancer. I recently hit pan on it and I feel very proud of myself for that. This is the shade Light Medium, which I believe is a bit dark for me at the moment. So I'm going to take a little bit of my light one as well. I'm just gonna dab in between the two. And I'm going to apply that with my Rose Ink number three brush. And I also am going to take that over top of that contour, not all the way over top, but just above it a little bit. And with this, I like to take it onto the bridge of my nose or like the halfway between the bridge and the tip of my nose, just right here. And I'm going to skip over highlighter. It's just hasn't been a thing I've been gravitating towards as of late. The base is usually pretty glowy, so I feel like I don't really need to go in with extra, but I'm going to go right into blush. I'm going to show you the few that I've been rotating between just because I like to switch up my blush on a daily basis, but I'll show you the color family that I've been gravitating towards. So this Gucci Beauty blush in 06 Warm Berry is so cute. I'll give them all a swatch as well. So there's that one. Another one that's similar is the Beach Please blush from Tower 28 in the shade Power Hour. You can see it's kind of like a cream version of that. Bit more brown. I've been loving this Venetian Rose blush from M Cosmetics and this one adds quite a bit of glow. It's like a highlighter and a blush in one or Rare Beauty Believe. This is constantly on rotation for me. I love this color. So see they're all kind of similar. They're all in the same kind of family. Um, today I might do a little bit of a mix. I'm going to use Rare Beauty Believe and Hope mix just to make it a little softer. I always like to put it in the palm of my hand and I'm going to take a bigger dot of and I'm taking my Fenty Beauty 125 face brush. I'm going to mix that all together, melt it into the bristles of this brush. I like doing it in the palm of my hand because I feel like it cups the, the brush better. Then I tap a little bit on my wrist and then I'll go in. And I've been adding my blush pretty much everywhere kind of like the I'm cold makeup trend that's going on. I really like it up on my forehead. I really like it all over my nose and on my chin. I just love how it carries the color everywhere and I feel like it makes it look more balanced. Although I don't apply as much as I would for like an I'm cold look, it just, it works. And it just makes me so happy to just wear like a full face of blush. <laughs> and before I do my brows, I go in with a little bit of setting powder. I've been loving my Kosas Cloud Set. Just makes me look so airbrushed and nice, but it doesn't cut away all of the glow. It's just perfection. Now that I set it with powder, I feel like I need more blush. I'm just going to use a little bit of my M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Blush in Venetian Rose. Just a little bit. Just, I need to amp it up on the cheeks a touch. But now it's time to tend to my eyebrows, so please enjoy the brow intermission. <laughs> now moving on to eyes, I first take a little bit of my Huda Beauty setting powder and I set my brow bone with it because I want a very softened effect and this really helps to add some slip so the shadow doesn't get eaten up by my eyeshadow primer. And then I'm going to take a nice contour e color. The palette I'm going to be using today is the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes. So I'm going to try to get a neutrally shade, so I kind of blend this one in with these three right here, just to start off the look. And this is just going to act kind of like a contour e color. 
but I concentrate a majority of that pigmentation on the outer part of my crease and I just flick it out and really make sure it's nicely blended. Then I switch to a smaller brush. This is a Smith 232, I believe. And then I'm going to take a little mixture of these two shades, this one here and this ready color. And I'm going to start building up pigmentation on the outer corner. I kind of go from near my lashes up just to guarantee I get a softer effect of that. And I'm going for like a soft triangle shape. This is a ColourPop E29. I'm going to take just that rusty red shade on the bottom row. I love these types of colors because it looks really good with my hair. And then I'm going to start by sketching a little liner. And I actually take a liner brush now. This is another Smith brush, a 203. I'm just going to sharpen that up. I like working with shadows for wings especially if you're tracing out something because it just is a lot more manageable, easier to do every day, just a lot more forgiving. Then I actually take a liner. I'm using my Ultra Matte Gel Liner from Melt Cosmetics in the shade Burnish. I know they don't currently offer this one, but I believe they're bringing it back soon. But other shades that are similar to this are Charlotte Tilbury, Walk of No Shame, and Pillow Talk. So there's Pillow Talk, Walk of No Shame. These are pretty much identical. And then here is Burnish from Melt. You can just see this one's a bit more purpley. Now with that liner, I'm going to trace what I did with that shadow. And this is just going to make sure it lasts all day. Some days I just leave it at the shadow liner, but I wanted to show you what I do if I have a little bit more time. Then I take that little ColourPop brush once again and I take that red shade from the bottom row in the Makeup by Mario palette and I bring it right here leaving a space and I make sure that's nicely diffused for this next step you can use concealer I just like to go in with this pencil just because it's really quick and precise I use my slick waterline eye pencil from melt and I kind of clean up the bottom of my liner and I brighten this area up and I just blend that into my concealer now grabbing a tiny tiny little brush this is a glisten number one brush I'm taking my melt liner again and I'm going to create that inner corner detail. I love doing this. It makes me feel a little bit more sexy. And then the last step to this eye look is adding some shadow onto my lid just to set my eye primer. And for that, I use this peachy shade first because it looks a lot brighter on my skin tone. See, <laughs> it brightens it up nicely. So this one's usually enough, but sometimes I go into the lightest shade, which I will do. I take a little bit of this one, put it right on my lid. And I also like bringing that color, that lightest one, right under this eye detail. I keep it all matte. I've been into it. And then for my lashes today, I used my Tower 28 Make Waves mascara. It's just been my favorite as of late. I feel like it gives me my perfect everyday lash. And then sometimes if I'm feeling extra fancy, especially around the holidays, I've been loving layering a little bit of the Moondust eyeshadow from Urban Decay. It's so gorgeous, layered on top of these kind of softened matte looks. It looks like little stars. But here are the eyes all done. I feel like they make me look like a little kitten. I really like this detail down here. I feel like it widens out my eyes for being such an elongated eye look. Also, I don't know what's happening here. I'm growing like a little nipple on my face. I don't know. But finally for lips, we're going to be using some of my favorite things. First being the Makeup Forever Wherever Walnut Lip Liner. I've been loving this one with these types of tones. Keeps it looking monochromatic. And then I've been kind of altering between these two. If I want to keep it all matte, I go in with the MAC Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Stick in the shade Over the Taupe, which here it is. Or I go in with the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in the shade Blush Glow, which is right there. Or sometimes I use both, but today I'm going to be using just the Moisture Glow, which these have been everyday staples of mine for so, so long. I just love how glossy they are and they add the perfect amount of color and they just make my lips look huge and I just, I love the whole thing. The whole experience it gives me, I'm obsessed with. And here is the finished final makeup look. 
I just love this look so much. I feel like it combines so many of my favorite things when it comes to makeup. First of all, a lot of blush. I love the glossy element. I love how the eyes are so soft, yet there's a fun edge to it because of the liner. I like how the top of my lid looks like a little roasted marshmallow, but then the liner adds like the sexy element. But there we have it. There is my updated everyday go-to makeup. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I wanted to say another huge thank you to Majeri for sponsoring today's video. Again, check out that sale. It's the only sale of the year and you get 20% off with a minimum spend and I'll make sure to link all of the pieces I'm wearing today in the description down below as well as my landing page that has all of the pieces I own personally just in case if there's something that I wear often in my videos that you've been eyeing up now's your chance and I'll also link everything else I used in today's video so please check that out and I'll also make sure to link all of the other products I used in today's video so feel free to check that out and I'll see you in my next one bye guys <laughs> <laughs>